G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripple week. Righto, let's see. Uh, electric versus petrol. I tell you what, I fuck. Come on, let's get into it. Hey guys, I've got a bit of uh, show and tell. I must say, don't get ex don't get excited about this, but I'm going to show you something. I've gone to the dark side. This thing is orange. It's motorized. Do you want to see it? Boom! And there it is, guys. Check it out. That is a Husqvarna electric. It's bloody. This thing's electric. Check that out. And here you were thinking it was a bloody gonna be a KDM. Now I also got a electric bloody whipper snipper as well. So I bought the lawnmower and the whipper snipper. Now I got this from S and Motorcycles, but I did buy it. This was all my idea. Um, you know, I, there's me little bloody. I paid for this all of my own money. The reason why I did it was, you know, when I did I did that uh, review on the auto lawnmower that was in the back of uh, Nev's place. He also had a whipper snipper. He had a push uh, mower as well. They're all electric. And that's what got me bloody thinking. I'm like, oh man, these things are bloody amazing. The tax man was really good to me. Uh, I was actually had two ta two years worth of tax to get done. I was thinking I was going to have to pay a lot of money, and I hadn't had to pay anything. So I had my little tax savings, and I went, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get myself some of this shit. Yeah, 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 I know. I should have bought a bloody new motorbike, but I didn't have that much money, and I have another little savings account that is going to get me a Honda Africa Twin. That's what I'm going for, something like a 2016 second hand. I'm saving up, that's the bike that I bloody well want. Now, so I paid $1,300. So I got the lawnmower, the whipper snipper, two of these batteries. These are <clears throat> the next level up, the, I don't know, four point whatever. Got extra stuff in it, you know, like when you get the Ryobi stuff, you get the smaller batteries and the larger batteries. Um, and I got the quick charger. So this charger charges that battery in 40 minutes. Proven, I've done it, bloody ripper. Now that battery in the lawnmower did all my backyard, all that big, uh, the front uh, nature strip, which is quite large, did it all for it, except for literally that much, it actually ran out of battery. And I'd already done all the whipper snipping so I grabbed the, this goes in the lawnmower and the whipper snipper, they're interchangeable. I grabbed the battery out of the whipper snipper, chucked it in, finished off that little bit. And then I still, uh, that battery was still three quarters um, full. So for around here, that's just bloody great. Fantastic. So in one hit, I could do it all. But what I did was, because I'm on the computer a lot, doing the editing and all that kind of stuff, I go and do a bit of editing come out, do a little bit of lawn mowing. Then, and this is, I, I'm, I've got to set up over here and I just, I just want to, the difference between having the, um, the petrol stuff as opposed to this electric stuff and the electric stuff that is now available. It's just, it's gone. Heads, heads, leaps and heads, you know what I'm saying. Right, hey guys, so this is what I've set up. So this is the electric side. This is the petrol motor or whatever side you want to talk about. Now, this is all my personal thing. I'm just, I'm doing this out of, I'm, Essendon motorcycles aren't bloody, I, like I said, I bought all this myself. I just, I just love this shit now. So, with this side, you've got a jerry can for your petrol, you've got your oil for in here. I've got two stroke, the two stroke oil to run this. Obviously there's dealing with petrol and just having to have all that stuff in the thing. You know I've been going, so I've just tidying up, throwing out lots of shit, just trying to simplify the stuff around here, which then get, frees me up for time doing the videos and getting out on the motorbike and all that kind of bullshit. So that's the number one, uh, not the number one, but one of the things is that it's less shit that I'm having around here. Now there's the whole petrol, stale petrol and all that. I've never had a problem with stale petrol, but that is a factor into it, yeah, in your carby. 
Um, you've got, I'm constantly bloody having to blow that uh, air filter out. I've just actually replaced it on there. Yeah, you, know, you get that zzz, zzz. As soon as it starts doing that, you know you've got to bloody fix your air filter. Now the fact of the way that these things Got it. especially this well I'm gonna do that in a minute so that's all that comes with that this the only thing you have is that that's it brilliant there's no petrol there's no staleness there's no oils nothing so let me just I want to do some whipper snipping I just grab this I turn it on and then I go straight away there's there's obviously a slight little bit of vibration. It's, qu it's quiet. Now this here, I would say is most probably, this is actually lighter than what this is. But that lawnmower is way lighter than that lawnmower. Crazy. So we just started that up. Same with this one, we turn this one on, pull our little lock out. No vibration. If you want to stop it, you just let go of it. If you want to start it, boom. Whereas these things, it's, you, 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 know, you don't want to stop. You want to get it all done in one hit. The whole thing of having to restart it up and all that kind of bullshit. The vibration that comes out of those, as a, you know, when it's bloody summer and you're out there and you're slogging away doing it all, and then someone brings you a drink or you go and get a drink and you sit down and you, <laughs> you I'm sure everybody understands that whole. Uh, <laughs> you don't get that with these. Um, so that's that's bloody fantastic the way that that works. And like I said. There's a battery in each of those and they're interchangeable. And that was, those batteries were more than enough for doing all the whipper snipping everywhere and the lawn mowing. Now, let's try and start this shit. The lawn mower starts really good. Just got to give it a couple of pumps. Obviously I've got to make sure that there's, oh shit, it's actually, oh. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I think that should start. If it doesn't, I'll have to put some petrol in it. Now, choke on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, where'd that whipper snipper? The whipper snipper's a little bit harder, but it's a bit of a finesse thing. Off on. Pump the little primer. I should have enough petrol. Put the choke at some spot. Give it a couple of squeezes. And then, adjust the choke. There you go. But, <laughs> noisy, <clears throat> like that bastard there. Now another thing, so I've just, I mean I think that's proven the point. Now another thing is, I suffer from hay fever. I take Claritine and that just sorts it out for the season. But, oh, See, I'm out of puff because I was bloody trying to start that thing. So I'm out there, I'm mowing, I've got to empty the, the grass clippings. I don't turn the mower off, I just, you know, bring it down to a slow thing. And then, you'd all know this, when you open this up, and of course this thing's going, all the grass clippings are going, psh, all the dust and shit. Um, but with this thing, because it's electric, you go, right, I've got to empty it. It's off now. When I open this up, nothing comes piling out at me. And I go and empty this. Put it back on. 
Shut that. And continue my way along. Um, when I'm doing whippersnipping, cars going past, kids coming past or whatever, someone walking a dog, normally, you know, you're holding the zzz, this thing's going zzz, and you just stop doing the whipping just so it doesn't flick something up. Well, this, you just stop, it totally turns off. Bloody brilliant. Right, now, obviously, I'm gonna give uh, Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers a plug. There's their website. They sponsor the channel. In actual fact, I've got a uh, text message from someone I'm gonna read out. Hopefully, Cliff, you don't mind me doing that. Um, so I paid $1,300 for that. I So what I did, me and Nay, we were jumping on because I was saying to Nay, I just love these things and this is what, you know me cleaning up and whatever. So we sat down and we were looking on their website um, at the one, all the models that they had. I mean, they run the petrol ones, they have the electric ones and the different models and all that. And we chose what we want because it was in our budget price and we figured, you know, that's all we needed, you know. I think they're pretty much the base, the base models. Anyway, so then I rang up Noel and said, right, Noel, I want, I want this and this. Um, here's my credit card, charge me and I'll come down and I'll bloody pick it up. In actual fact, Damien, um, brought them up and dropped them off. He was coming up this way, so that worked out really well. Top service, but I can't, ex <laughs> you wouldn't expect that every time. So what the hell am I going with this? So I paid $1,300. Now, uh, when I spoke to Noel, he said, well, look, just oh, bloody, let me sort out. I know what you want and let me have a look at what we've got and let's see if I can do you a bit better bloody deal, blah, blah, blah. And um, so they had some older models in the lawnmower, which was, they were exactly the same. I think it was just the name change or something like that, which meant I could get that a little bit cheaper, which then gave me a little bit of extra money for working, uh, getting the bigger volume batteries and that quick charge. And that's the beauty of when you deal with someone like that down there, tell them what you want, and then they can work out shit to make things better for you. So, uh, I think I, yeah, I saved like 150 bucks on, on, it was less, but I got more, it was less than whatever. So, but anyway, so you might not get it for $1,300 if you know what I mean. They most probably were looking after me because they knew I'd do something like this because I can't help myself. Something else that came in the mail is this little beauty here. You'll know what that is, but hang on, I did say I was gonna read out something. So this is Cliff, he's a crew member, rides a GS1200 and he said, Oh, he also sent me through some pics on oh, the heated glove stuff, um, which was the, the Shark Gloves, which obviously is an Australian company. Uh, just saw the heat. No, 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 back. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, sorry, guys. Right, heating. No. Just saw the heated gloves. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. No, it was actually after the heated gloves. Um, Oh, because of the acid, uh, the support Essendon Motorcycles have shown you, I went there from Ferntree Gully and spent a decent amount of cash on a new Husky Hedger and brush cutter. Service was great, mate. That's what I like to hear. Bloody brilliant. Nothing like spruiking on about a company and, uh, and then someone goes there and they get good service. Cool, right, now back to this. So, I've got a ultrasonic bloody cleaner. So as you know, currently trying to get uh, Charlie all sorted. I've got his exhaust on, you know, I had the problem with the, that bloody, the stud thing that broke off. It's all on there, it's all solid, brilliant, shouldn't leak. Um, I'm do doing all the electrics, I've got the new battery over there to go in. So I'm bloody concentrating on that, but I do have to, there is the little carburetor, or the carby, um, which needs to be rebuilt, and I've got the stuff for that. I wanted to use the uh, this ultrasonic cleaner for doing that. And here it is, boom. So this is one of those ones that just the cheapies off um, eBay. It's a 10, 10 litre, which I'm really glad I got a 10 litre. Uh, got that, got a little bloody, obviously for doing your jewelry, a little tea strainer type thing. There you go, boom. Uh, plenty of room to do a, uh, a carby, but not a huge volume, if you know what I mean. So I haven't turned it on, I haven't used it, so we'll be doing something with that, especially when I do that. 
This is making a lot of noise. Boom. So expect a video or something in Man Cave Tuesday in regards to doing that. Well, mostly in Man Cave Tuesday. There's enough videos if you wanted to search that. And that's the one, that's that brand that you see in most of the uh, videos, whether it's in America or whatever. They're on eBay, they're as cheap as chips. Can't remember how much. It was under $300, 250 bucks or something like that. I think I paid for it. So uh, excited, and it's a good size. It'll, I'll find a spot for it, and um, yeah, there you go. Well, that's show and tell, bloody over and done with. Although I did, and you won't be interested in this, but I did buy a new 80 something dollar, um, what do you call it, little lapel mic, because the other one that bloody buggered up, but there was a few videos that you know, might have noticed. I was pretty good with fixing it, but I had that, it was the wire was all crunchy. So, but who cares about that shit? So the question now is, what am I gonna do with that lawnmower and that whippersnipper? Already got it sorted, asked the two daughters. Uh, Jade, Jade's taken the whippersnipper and Taylor's taken the lawnmower. So now I've gotta clean all these up and I'll get them delivered. Cool. If I was a really good dad, I'd be giving them the new stuff, but I'm just not. Righto guys, what you're looking at are new cargo nets that um, Nay has got in and they're reflective. So there is a red one. So the one directly on the back that's got me helmet, you can see it's got the, that's a red one. And that one there is a black one. That's bloody crazy how well that shines. So Nay, go and turn your light on. I'll take that. It's all about safety. Yeah, red. It's black. But then when you bloody hit that thing, like a car lights come on you. Boom. So even with that light on now, if you keep that light on, they're still lit up. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're brilliant. So you get to have shiny stuff at night time, but during the day, you're not you're standing not, out all leery. No, you're not looking bloody, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Brilliant. Get them on bikerbits.com.au. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. Yeah, all right, just, I wouldn't get those other ones. I'd just get these ones. Yeah, well, that's what I'll do from now on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit hot. Oh, well, there you go, cool. Brilliant. Okay, this is a family of spotted pigeons, and you see that? That's the baby, and it's really crazy. It chases both the parents, puts its wing over. It's cute. But it's basically wanting the parents to feed it. But man, it's if I, if I was one of these parent ones, bloody hell, it annoys the shit out of them. And you can see they take off. They go, piss off, leave me alone. <laughs> Alrighty, hey guys, we are off to see the graffiti walls. Oh, Jesus, gotta watch where I'm going. It's dark. Right out after you, know. Nobody's hiding in the tunnel. <laughs> We've got our heated vests on. Now he's got her cheapy eBay one. And I've got the Aurora. We actually, um... Apparently my torches. No, hey? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Just hold it up. There we go. Yeah. This wasn't doing it. <laughs> I'm using the, uh... Well, where are you there? You yeah, shine your light on mine, boop. I'm using that, um, bike, the bike one, that new Wuben one. And what I'm using... That's a Wuben as well, the small one. So... We came down here the other day, just we're driving past and went, oh, we'll go and check out the graffiti bloody wars. And they changed it. And they've done something totally new. So I'm hoping that it's still there. It is on the side. So what is it, what does it say, no? Numb. In Numb. Yeah, numb. Oh, numb. Yeah, look at that. So there's not sure anymore. No. It's bloody numb. Whoop. Yeah. So there you go. Something bloody different. 
Yeah, it's just tagged it all over. There's still some of the resu tags on there. But that's it. Yeah. Cool. It's funny that they never do this site. Oh. No, well that's it, yeah. yeah. Obviously don't make it uh, obvious. Yeah, crazy. So this bloody bike torch thing, man, it just lights up everywhere. It's crazy good, isn't it? I don't know, you keep shining it in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. We've got something new. What do we say, Nay? Oh, we say stop shining that in my eyes. No, back to the bloody man cave. <laughs> Get it right, woman. <laughs> Rightio guys, it's oh, Jesus. Right oh, you just fell down. That was my first time putting this up there. I'm using the GoPro. Oh look, it's only small today. There's all the people getting the good coffee. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hang on, car coming out. Oh. try the GoPro uh, using it in the in the Jeep so yeah got me cheap coffee jailhouse coffee oh. on my way down to Melbourne obviously because this time of the morning does not normally exist for me I can tell you right eh? Rightio guys, it's time to do the uh, the Jay Leno's bloody 3 by 65 dollar giveaway uh, remember, I'm, d I'm down here at bloody uh, Nev's joint, obviously, as you can see, there's all the Jay Leno bloody stuff that shits bloody everywhere around here. Right, um, remember, 15% off for the Biker Bits community using that code there. Right, eight, let's give these uh, things away. Michael Efting, Rick Kearney, and Mark McCalligat. Congratulations, guys, bloody ripper. There's the website, get on there, spend up, give Nev a little bit of bloody extra stuff. Righto, get out of here. Righto guys, we're down here at Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers. We've got Noel is happy to be on the video, which I'm always happy oh, about. Oh, love it. Bloody... <laughs> <laughs> right, we've finally got a bloody special. So, you guys know that that's the, uh, the pressure washer, the PW125. Nev gave that to me. Love it. Yep. I'm going to flip to some bloody me using it around the house. You've seen me use it before. Great little bloody pressure washer. Yeah. And we, we use this small one for washing all of our bikes and have done for two years. Oh, well, there you go. So, bloody brilliant. Yeah. 239 bucks. I mean, just the full price yeah. is cheap. But you got a special $290. Yeah. So if you buy... Oh, no, $290 is the pressure washer... Including including a wash the, kit. The wash kit. And the kit includes that, which everybody knows is the, the foam Can brilliant. Yep. The yellow wash sponge from Jay Leno's vehicle wash. But if you've already got a pressure washer, you can get this kit for just $90. 90 bucks. Yeah. And that's, so that, that's, that's normally that there. 103, what is it? 10385? And the pressure washer, if you were buying it all individually, you'd be three forty two eighty five. Yeah, if you bought if all you that. If you bought all that and the pressure washer all together. Individually, yeah. 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 This is for a Kash, no, Hasvana and Gurney. Or Gurney, yeah. And I've also got Karcher ones. Karcher ones as well. Yeah. Because they have different connectors. Yes, to go on the gun. To itself. go on the on this gun. Yeah. Yeah. They're not online, so they're not on the on that website there. Send an email. Give them a call. Yep. yep. And tell them bike a bit or Community. Mark. Community. Yep. Bike we'll a take bit. Another so this ten is... bucks off the kit. Exactly. Ten yep. bucks off for the bike a bits community, yep. not just the crew members. If you're calling in to pick it up, that's easy done. But yep. if you coming or want it sent, we'll charge a freight, whatever the freight is. Yeah. We're not trying to make a dollar out of the freight, but yeah. it varies from Melbourne to Darwin, so it just Exa depends yeah. on what. Um, but so yeah, email, I think we're the only ones with it. these cannons and the kits anyway. Yeah. Because I bring them in. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So 
email or phone. Yep. Remember to say biker bits because you'll get 10 bucks off that price. Yep. Correct? Would that be? I'll take five off that. Five, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. There you go. Yeah, five off that one. Ten off that one. And, and you'll even get a sticker by you saying You will get a sticker. Bits. You dropped me in some stickers. So what I've done, I've given them a, a bunch of stickers. So if you come in here, whether you're getting new tyres on your bike or you're getting a service or you're looking to buy a bike or a helmet or the various other things, or all this shit here, yeah, anything you're it's buying. Not shit. That's not mine. <laughs> it's cool shit. <laughs> That's it. Um, mention Biker Bits or say, Mark from Biker Bits told me to come down here and if you buy something, you'll also get a Biker Bits sticker. Yeah, and we'll look after you. And that's right, and you'll look after yeah. them. Brilliant. All right, so that's it. Pleasure. That's not it. No, it's not. Because so what are we doing? We're giving, we're giving one away. That's right. So this is for the <laughs> ultimate crew members. You're giving away this whole the full thing. Kit, yeah. So you're going to get one of those and all that. Yeah. Cool. So ultimate crew members, get on the website, register to say, oh, I want to have a chance at winning that. Yep. Thank you very Another much. Bonus. Hey? Cool. All good. Right, eh? Thanks, Mark. Back to the man cave. Right, yeah, guys. So we're back at the garage, not the man cave. Now, I've done from last week, I was showing you all the bits and pieces and changing stuff around. So I've done a little bit more changes down that side. Working really great, which I'm going to show you. But first, I just want to show you, um, so I've gotten, for the guys look waiting for a bloody uh, posty bike video to come out, Charlie is up there, I've got him, let me get onto the other camera and I'll show you around it. Right, so as you can see, I've got Charlie up on top of my welding table, so me and Nate lifted him up there, and ever since doing this, actually, that's to remind me to have fun and enjoy working on Charlie and not going, Mark, you've got to get this bloody done and, you know, filmed and get on to the next stuff. Um, I, I fall into a trap of trying to get shit done so I can get videos out and all that kind of stuff and just this whole channel thing. <laughs> it's an ongoing bloody saga. So that, that was my, my little thing of putting that on there and going, Mark, enjoy doing it. It's a bit like... Um, when you go on a trip and you see the whole trip through the through the bloody vo the viewer on the camera because you're so focused on capturing it, but you're not actually taking in the moment. That's that's what that lemon is doing there. So since having him up there, I've really enjoyed it. Not always working down on the floor. So this is really spurring me to work out how I can uh, have bikes up off the ground. There's a lot, for me, there's a lot to consider. At the moment, I've got all the bikes in here, obviously, apart from the KLR, which is out the back, and then Tango that's out in the trading post. I also got some mats, extra mats, because I remember with that bloody painting, um, it lifted up all the, the paint. So there was all these, um, what do you call it, spots on there, a bit, a bit like that. Um, it was driving me nuts, so I just went to Bunnings and got some of these, four of these one metre bloody mats, and that works really good. It also helps with the videoing too, because there's not as much echoey stuff going on. Right, so, loving it. So, lots of, there's scissor jacks. The scissor jack system is not going to work for me. It could, but it will be more, too much of a hindrance, which is what I said. The fact that I can actually move that I can move that over to there really easy, but not all bikes are the size of a posty bike and you can't just lift Max or Harry or you know, even bloody Whiskey <clears throat> or whatever up onto something and they wouldn't fit on this either. I would have to make a longer one, then I'd have to have a ramp and if I had the ramp, putting a bike up on a ramp up to this height it's just, it's too precarious, it's, there's too many bloody chances of shit going awry. Um, and having the scissor thing there, which I know you can roll them around, but I've got stones out there, I couldn't just piss it off out, or, you know what I mean? So, I really like this idea, if I was to extend, make this bigger, or make another one, which would be able to hold a bigger bike. And I can get away with, have it, because that's where it normally lives. I've just, that's 
uh, the ramble table that will get. I had all the parts on there, so that's going to go. Uh, I could have it so that it's a longer thing that would come out. Now, how do I get a bike up on top of it? Well, as you guys know, I've got that up there, and I did use that jiffy uh, block and tackle thing, and I lifted Max up because I I braced all this up. The when this was when I built this, there's only one bar, and it's only tech screws holding it there. So here I put two bars. They got the tech screws, but I also welded those bars on there. So it lifted it, but only for a little for a little time. I don't know how strong that would be. So I'm thinking of strengthening that up there. And Matt said that you can get, because I'm thinking, what if I got, you know, like a winch off, off the front of a four-wheel drive, like I've got on um, bloody Brutus the Jeep. Anyway, I was saying that to Matt, Matt was over, and he goes, you can actually get purpose ones for that very thing up there at Bunnings, and they're like a couple of hundred bucks. And they can, I think, what was it, 200, no, five, five, 300, I don't know, whatever, but we'll <laughs> And so I was having a look at them, the size of them, and it fit perfectly up there. So the idea is that I have an electric winch system up there that I bring the bike in. Now let's just say Max. I wheel Max in. I connect him up to the, uh, the thing. He gets lifted up. And then I get that, slide it under, and then he gets dropped on it. That might be a possibility. The other thing I can do is, uh, I had Brad here, and he was saying you can get, I can't remember the bloody name of them. When he said the name of it, I know. It's a, a pole that you put in there, and then it's got a turn, you know, it's got slots that you put in. What is that, arc? Oh, no, I can't remember the word. And then you, so it's like putting a pole, so a brace in there, which could then live outside, and I just put it in there. I don't know. I'm now rambling crazily. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, because the more I think about it, and then I go, right, if I put Max up on there, Max is going to be way, way like up on there. So if I'm, I might be working down low doing something, but then I've got to work up high, and it's like it's too high. So if it's on a stand, like a thing like this, this doesn't go up and down. It's stuck there, so then I'd have to get a stool or something to, ha or I've got to then move it, bring it back down, do that, then bring it back. Do you know what I mean? That's I'm trying to I'm trying to think of everything um, to make it the most simplest, easiest, um, and even because that's the thing. I don't want to do something and then it's a pain in the ass to to do it. So. You know, that's over there, I bring Max in, then I've got to have a harness system that's going to, you know, hook on somewhere, you know, to keep the bike balanced while it's being lifted up. Then I bring that over, then I drop it down. Am I going to go, shit, that's too much stuffing around and all I wanted to do was, I don't know, tickle under his fenders for something and I'm going to spend... 15, 20 minutes stuff arsing around just to get him up on the table when I could have rolled him in, leant down and went tickle, 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 job done. So I don't bloody know. Oh, shit. I kind of like think, yes, that's the deal. And then as I'm explaining it to you guys, I'm like going, I don't know. So, right, shut up. I'll just bloody... So I'm really... had. To... I tell you, it's the smallest things, the seat. Let me get the other camera again, sorry. Yeah, so this bloody seat has come up. I don't know, look at that. Look at that white on there. This seat has come up so well. Like considering, you know, the age of this, what, where it's been, living outside. Like, you know, it's got a couple of scratch marks up there. Hopefully you can see that. But this seat has come up, cleaned up so well. Bloody, absolute crazy. And you know what, and I know you guys are gonna go, I was gonna talk about friggin' Jay Leno's uh, products, but that's what I, 
what I don't like I'd clean this plenty of times but I'll tell you what I did I used the all-purpose cleaner which is uh, that green stuff and that's yeah that's supposed to be you know I was using that on the bike for the hubs and the the wheel wheels and all that kind of stuff so I thought I'd bugger it you know it's just a pasty so I sprayed it on just used a microfiber and it just it cleaned it up and then what I did was I went okay I need to get that stuff off so it doesn't do anything to it and I grabbed the um, the fabric cleaner I thought that will neutralize anything so I scrubbed that on it and then I grabbed what was the other thing oh the uh, the quick detail which you use for the inside of your car and then I put that on there and it just even they said holy shit the hell did you do to his bloody uh, seat? That's magic. It's the sim simple things, eh? Crazy. So really, all I've got left... Oh, and that was the other problem that I just had was because all these, I spray-painted all that stuff, I wasn't going to do the, uh, the stuff that attaches... This stuff over here. I wasn't going to worry about... The idea wasn't to do this, but because the other stuff looks really good, I now have to do that. And it was the same with these, the uh, the mirrors. Like, <clears throat> if you look at the difference, you know, you, you're putting dog shit on something that's really nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spray paint all these, so it'll all be nice matchy match. So I've got to get that cleaned up. That's going to be being done black. And then I've also got these tyres to do. But every time I go to do it, the weather's too cold, it's bloody, you know, wet, and it's just taking way longer. All right, hopefully I'm not driving you guys nuts. If I'm driving you nuts, you'll obviously already piss off anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you what I've done through here. It's very simple, but it makes a big bloody difference, I tell you. I'm just gonna open this up, move some of these bikes out of the way. Poor old Max still hasn't been cleaned from the, from the ramble. Right, let's bloody uh, show you the shit. Right, so it's just a simple change. And the simple change was that this Kero heater, <laughs> Kero heater, the Kero wash was actually over to there. And all I did was move it along there. Now the tire changer thing, which has the little jutty out things, which was over there. And when I'd be walking around bikes, I'd hit it, but I'm never, I'm never over here, and it's in line with that, so I'm not going to hit it when I'm bringing a bike in. So it just works there. The bloody uh, the vacuum thing is sitting there. It's not got the hoses running around and all that shit. It's just all over there. Brilliant. Which, what did I do? This thing was over there, and I've got, I didn't have enough power points over there to have both of these plugged in at the same time. So I'd always be stuffing around, trying to work out which one, which cord goes for what on there. So now that got moved over to here. Oh, and I had me little, the rolly stool thing was sitting over, there was a bit of a gap and I had some stuff. So I pissed all that off move that over to here, this now lives here. So now what I can do, depending on this one here, if I want to use that, boom, if I want to use that, boom. That for me is a bloody game changer, just being able to Pull it out and turn it on. Not stuff arsing around with like kind of stuff. Then I've got now a spot for these uh, things that I use for the videoing. But another big thing is this. Just being able to have this was living kind of like it was getting moved around all the time. It didn't have a home. So now I've got plenty of room in this spot for that to live and stay out of the way. And these two bloody things just get hooked in there, out of the way. I've also got the, uh, that's the, the board. So sometimes it's here, sometimes it's over in front of that window, using it as a blind. And then I've got access to doing this. And I also went through and cleaned up, because I had the shit to get done. 
This is obviously the KLR650. That's the only one we've got here. That's going to be the next job after getting, um, after doing Charlie, hopefully. So that's it. Simple, but it just works really well. It makes me, it makes me happy. So there you go, guys. Um, but it's, yeah, this is the one thing that has confounded me since day one what to do with that and normally I just I just buddy I just do shit I just do it and just work with it and whatever but this is because obviously it's a big investment if I was to get the scissor jack type of thing that's most probably the thing that's holding me off working out what to bloody do with that. But anyway, righto. Now I've got, um, remember those, um, the cargo nets that, uh, the, the flashy bloody ones? These bloody, uh, these things. So there's, there's a, so look, it just looks like a red cargo net. There's the black one, brilliant. But you saw how they lit up, absolutely brilliant. So Nay's got these on the site, they're $24.95. She's got them on special at the moment for $19.95 for these. We did a search around, $24.95 is about the standard price that you would pay for them. So $19.95 on special now. And if you're a crew member, you'll get 10% off that as well. So that's pretty good. Now, she said I can give these two away and I did. I've got a in my pocket here. I have two people, two crew members. Jason Hooker, who which is uh, adventurist.tv. So Jason Hooker and Nick Saunders. And actually Nick, uh, he put through a MCT spotlight, which we're going to be doing next. So I'll get in contact with you guys and make sure that your bloody address is correct on the site. And also so you can choose whether you want a red one or a black one because I know um, Jason has two KDMs that he rides and um, Nick has a uh, Harley. Oh, my brain, why is my brain not working? What's the adventure bike, the Harley? The Pan America, he's got a Pan, you're gonna see it in a minute, he's got a Pan America, cool. And so both of those bikes have orange on them, so red might not go, you know what I'm Shut up, Mark. Rightio, guys. So now it is time for the MCT Spotlight. So this is a crew member that wants to bloody show us something, tell us something, or whatever. Now, this is Nick Saunders, who has won one of those um, bloody cargo things. This is the very first Spotlight that we're doing. And he has a Pan America bloody uh, motorbike here. And Nick says, G'day Mark, here is my beast of burden. It's had quite a few mods done with still many more planned. Looking forward to riding with you and the rest of the Biker Bits community. Bloody ripper Nick, thanks man for sending that through. Awesome looking bike. Now I did notice uh, on there, where is that photo gone? I see on the back of the bike there you've got ADV Works and I just thought oh they look like really good bags and you've got the panniers on the side there too. I see you've got the giant loop uh, tank. I'm not sure on the front uh, windscreen there you've got HH. What is that? Is that a Harley thing? I don't know. HH. Looks pretty cool anyway. Um, so I thought I'd check out those ADV Works bags, and apparently that is, and if I bring it up, where is it? Uh, Adventure Moto. So that's Adventure Moto's own brand. So they said ADV Works is Adventure Moto's own brand with 15 years in the industry, blah, 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 blah. And they have shitloads of stuff in there. And I'm looking at the prices going, well, I don't know, is that cheap for those but is this a cheaper version than either your your Wolfman? I mean, I'm so out of the out of the game on looking for bags because I have my Wolfman things and they've lasted me for ever, um, and they're not looking like they're going to bust up. So I, I'm not in the market at looking at bloody what's what and seeing what's cheap and what's not cheap or all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think, I think that's something that we need to do on the channel is have a look at what adventure bags, and I'm talking about the soft ones, not the hard ones, um, 
what brands are out there and have a comparison on price and maybe if we can, you know, through qual uh, quality and find out if some people have, oh, cause I know there's lots of people, I see the Nelson rigs and the cheap eBay ones. Um, yeah, just to get a feel for quality and price, that'd be an interesting thing. And this is a problem that I'm finding now uh, sorry, Nick. Nick, that was it, man. That was Nick. That was Nick's bloody spotlight, the Pan America. Bloody awesome. Yep, it'd be great to have you riding with us for sure. Um, but going back to what I'm finding is with the channel, it's bloody time. I just, it's, it's so involved. I'm only one man, I'm still only one man trying to manage everything and of course now i'm having to do the contract work just to keep bloody money rolling in it all that's all um so finding time to do the research and stuff like that so i may at some stage see if i can get people out there that would be interested in doing helping out in so, so if i find someone that's got the time to find all the different brands Get all, and collate it all together to give it to me and talk and we discuss it and all that kind of shit. So then I can form either a, a thing in Man Cave Tuesday or do its own video or something like that. So looking to get, obviously I can't be paying money for that because I just don't, can't afford to, to do that. And I know how much time doing that research and that that's hours and hours of time to do that and I just can't afford to pay someone <laughs> to do that um, but if there was anybody that was interested in doing that um, that'd be that'd be bloody good I think that might really alleviate and get me to get more videos and I know of late I mean yeah it's 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 the the videos have strayed so far from from doing all that and that's what I love doing I love doing all those you know working all that shit out and presenting it and all that kind of stuff um, so I don't know whether I say hey put your hand up in the comments or uh, I need to set up something on the website a form on the website where you can say hey I'd be interested in doing that and then I might get in and inundate I don't know just leave that with me for the minute <laughs> that might be a thought and there's other aspects of the channel running uh, that I may, I'm far out and rambling. I'm gonna just keep going with it guys. Um, that I could, if I could get some help in that way, that will save me time, will then help me move move on with better, vi better video. I, I, for me, I'm saying better videos um, and getting, um, the problem that you get stuck is your, well, I, I do, and I think most YouTube creators do, depending on what you're doing. I've got to the point where, because I've gone full time on it, I'm chasing just to, just to make a living out of it and paying bills and stuff like that, which then takes you away from the passionate things that you do. Like I was saying, you know, smiley, the smiley lemon. Um, I'll leave it there because I could just I could go on forever. Um, do I need to fucking do this, redo this video or I just leave it? So I hate leaving. So it's all positive, 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 positive. Brilliant, cool. Back over, let's go to the man cave now. Well, there you go guys, that is Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. Hope you all enjoyed it. Now just to recap, so uh, the ultimate crew members go onto the website, sign up to get a chance at winning that pressure washer bundle uh, for all crew members. Uh, if you didn't see the video that I did on the heated gloves and the Oro, Aurora heated gloves and jacket, get on there, sign up for a chance in winning the gloves or the jacket. There will be two, two no, I won't be doing it as one bundle. Uh, get on there and do that. Obviously, for the Biker Bits community, if you're after a cheap bloody pressure washer, I mean, they're cheap just at full price, but to get all that other stuff in there at that price, plus the discount they're given for, if you say, Biker Bits and a sticker, um, bloody brilliant, uh, brilliant bargain. All right, there you go, guys. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.